Welcome back everyone. I'm going to do a quick, and this time I really do mean quick, video on some new plants that I picked up over the last couple of weeks. These plants are from Walmart and Ikea. Neither one of the plants cost more than $20 and most were under $10. Um, so let's get started. The first is this fern here. Now I have to say I've never been a fan of ferns. It was actually my husband who suggested I get a fern. And I kept beating around the bush trying to decide if I wanted a Boston fern or a more traditional fern, what variety I wanted. Um, and I just happened to be in Walmart looking for a majesty palm and they had some of these ferns that you see pictured here off to the side and they were all marked down to $5. They were kind of overgrown. The roots were coming out of the bottom of the nursery pot and they just looked bad and I think that they were actually getting ready to toss them out. So it was marked down to $5. I found the garden center worker at Walmart and was able to get it for two bucks. So this is the fern right here. I went ahead and pruned a lot of the overgrown um, leaves and dead leaves and I repotted it. It was in a four inch pot and I believe this might be a four or six, a five or six inch pot. I'm not sure, but it had a little bit of room in it so it worked well in this pot. So that is the new fern and I'm excited to have it. This plant that you see pictured here, right here in the middle of my Fotonia and the um, Mini Ivy. This is another Walmart find. This was $1.87. It came just like this. Um, I don't know why it was marked down. It didn't show any signs of stress um, or dying. It was just marked down and it was off by itself on the clearance rack in the garden center so I went ahead and picked it up. I have not been able to identify it yet. It didn't have the little tag in it so if you guys know what kind of plant this is please leave it in the comments because I want to be sure that I'm providing it with the best care and because I don't know what it is I'm not quite sure what it needs. So I've only had it for a few days. Um, I haven't watered it yet. It's in my bathroom. Um, I don't know if it's a low light, a medium light, if it needs bright light. I really don't know anything about this plant. So if you guys can help me out, I would really, really appreciate it. So just a look at how they look in the bathroom. And really quick here, let me just turn around. You'll see here that I moved my peace lily, which was in the first video in my the front room of our home, which is our prayer room. I moved it here. Um, this small piece of lily is starting to show some signs of stress. If you can see here on the leaves, I don't really know what's going on with this plant. I haven't done anything different to the care of the plant, but I don't know. And it's not blooming. And this is the perfect season for peace lilies to bloom. And this one is not in bloom. So I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my lily here because this was is one of my favorite plants and my boys and my husband gave this to me for Mother's Day last year and it was doing fine so I'm not like really sure what's happening uh, with this piece lily so I'll keep you guys updated so you can kind of follow along and see how she's doing. I purchased a second peperomia this one I also got from the Walmart garden center it was five dollars and look how beautiful this one is. This is much larger than my other peperomia, which you might have seen in the first video, but look how beautiful this is. And this is on my bedside table, which I won't show you because it's quite a mess at the moment, but um, it's beautiful, just beautiful. It's still in the nursery pot. All of these plants I'm going to show you are still in their nursery pots. I haven't repotted. I don't like to repot right away. I like them to kind of get comfortable and acclimated to the new environment before I go ahead and repot. So this one's gonna be in this pot for a little bit of time. And dun, 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 my ZZ plant. Guys, I have been wanting a ZZ plant and I'm so excited that I finally got this plant. Actually, this one, you know what? This one is not from Walmart or from Ikea. We grabbed this one at the Lowe's Garden Center um, just yesterday, as a matter of fact. It was, um, I wanna say $9.98. And if you look at it, it's beautiful, it's lush, it's healthy. This is on my husband's night, uh, 
night table. Again, you know, we have five kids. We try to keep it together, but sometimes we fall a little short. So I'm not going to show you guys everything, but just look at this plant. It's beautiful. I love it. It kind of reminds me of a rubber tree and the way that the leaves feel, not so much in their shape, but the way that they feel. And it's beautiful. And I'm noticing now, I don't know if you guys can see it. You probably can't, but um, they have some water. Can you see those little, yeah, there you go. Look at that. You see the little water droplets on the leaves. I haven't watered this one either. I just bought it home. Let me see. We just bought it home yesterday. This is the pot that it came in. And I think we'll probably leave it. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll probably leave it in the part in that pot. This is a low light plant, so this is perfect for this little kind of dim corner or or um, dark corner of our of our bedroom. It's on the night table. It's kind of tucked into a little corner here, if you can see that. Um, so it doesn't get as much light as some other parts of our bedroom. So this ZZ plant will do beautifully will do beautifully here. Again, I don't repot right away. I know some people buy plants and then they repot them as soon as they bring them home. I like mine to get adjusted. And after a few months, then I will repot um, once they've got adjusted to their new, in new environment. Look what we have here. This was a Walmart garden center find. $13, guys, $13. It's only been here for about three or four days. And look what we have growing in the three or four days that it's been here. This is in our bedroom. It's got some, it's putting on some new leaves. It looks nice and healthy. Unlike my other peace lily that I showed you that I, uh, it's in the bathroom now, our master bathroom. There's no browning on the leaves, no freckles, no spots. And this one is actually in bloom and it's so large and beautiful. Look at that. Tell me that's not gorgeous. I'm in love with this. I've named this plant. Lillian. So I have Lily and I have Lillian. Lily is the little one and because Lillian is grown up and fabulous and classy, this is, um, yeah, this is Lillian. I love her. Again, still in the nursery pot. I have not watered her since we brought her home and I'm going to just check the soil over the next few days to see. Our bedroom temperature kind of is a little off from the rest of the house. It's sometimes cooler or warmer depending on the season. So I'm not quite sure if the, the watering needs for this will be the same as the other plants or even the other lily, which is in the bathroom. She's beautiful, I love her. Okay, so we're in my living room now. This is our fireplace. And I went ahead and grabbed another Pocos, again from Walmart, $5. And this was actually in a hanging basket. I just took the hanging mechanism off and left it in the nursery pot. And I picked up tea, these two little plants, and I had never seen these before, but they were quite interesting. And I wanted to give my youngest two children, who are three and four, plants of their own to care for. Um, these were marked down to $1.27 each, again from the Walmart Nursery Center. And these are called Dragon's Tongue. The, the leaves look very hard, but they're actually very soft um, and fluffy. And the baby seemed to be loving it. We've only watered these once. We've had them for about a week and we've watered them once and the soil is still very moist. So they're low light plants. They're just sitting here hanging out under the pothos. I miss the pothos maybe once a week or so and they have just been sitting there doing beautifully. I know you hear my little ones in the background, so I'm sorry guys, but I'm trying to keep them busy with playing in their room while I get through the rest of this video. So this is my Strelitzia. I grabbed this one at Ikea. It was $19.99, um, what, two weeks ago maybe, two weekends ago, and it's beautiful. I mean, there's not much to say about this. Sorry about the backlighting. I'm trying to get it from a good angle so you guys can actually see it, um, but it is beautiful. Look at that beautiful i have it by a um northwest facing window so it gets mostly afternoon light but it does still get some morning light but that that afternoon sun um is what it gets the most of it's been about two weeks and it seems to be doing well i actually just grabbed this little table thing here from family dollar for five dollars because i wanted to get it up off the floor and i put it on here so I'm going to spray paint the table white and I'm going to, again, after it's here for a few months, 
take this out of the nursery pot and um, and repot it. So once it finds its final home and its final look, I will give you guys an update on how it is on how it's going. But again, this is a strelitzia. It hasn't put on any new leaves since I brought it home, but just look at that. Beautiful fans, green, a nice, dark, beautiful green. I love it. And the last three. Um, so this is my Calathea. This was another Walmart, not Walmart, I'm sorry guys, this was Ikea. We picked this one up from Ikea two weekends ago with the Strelitzia. It's still in its nursery pot that it came in. This one I want to say was $7 um, and it's put, putting on some new leaves. This is new, this is new, and this is new since we bought it home two weeks ago and it's beautiful. If you look at the underside, oh, let me see if I can get you a better shot here. The underside of the leaf look at that gorgeous purple and purple is my favorite color so I just had to get this plant this was on my list for a while and I was actually going to order it from an online nursery until I saw it at Ikea went ahead and grabbed it here is my dwarf umbrella tree or schlifera okay that's probably not right don't talk about me y'all don't judge me that's probably not right but it's a dwarf umbrella and I want to say schlifera but that might not be right, but again, this was from Walmart, $8. It came just like this about three days ago. And in the three days, you'll see, look at that. It's putting on, oh, did you see that? I knocked the leaf off, poor thing. It's putting on some new new growths. I didn't realize how tender the new growths were, but it's beautiful. And then this one here, what is this? Is this an anthurium? anthurium? Okay, that don't even sound right, so I'm pretty sure that's not right. Aeon no, it's not aeonium. That's a that's a succulent. And anthurium. Okay, I don't know. I will put it somewhere on this video to give you the correct name if I'm not saying it right. I just grabbed this one two days ago. This is from Walmart and it was eight dollars. And it looks beautiful. It came in this uh no no no. It came in a nursery pot, but it was the roots were coming out of the bottom. So unlike most plants that I buy where I let it stay in the nursery pot. I repotted this one as soon as I got it home simply because the roots were growing out of the bottom and I did not want any issues with the plant dying off. So I went ahead and repotted it in a plant that I already had at home. So that's it guys. Those are all of my new plants that I've gotten from Walmart, Ikea, and the one that you saw that I got from the Lowe's Garden Center, my ZZ plant. Um, so I don't know, maybe in the next video I'll do a video on my Talantias, which are my air plants right here. I'll let you guys, let you guys know. Um, but yeah, thanks for taking the journey with me and taking a look at my new plant babies. Um, it's been great. So until next time, guys, peace.